Hello, welcome to PCR and my name is Phil McCarthy and today I'm joined by my colleagues from Asia to talk about the expansion of transcatheter valve therapy in that region and with specific reference to PCR Tokyo Valve, a fantastic new venture uh, that, that had its first conference this year. So Paul, KK and Kentaro are here with me. Kentaro, you were one of the main directors of PCR Tokyo Valve. Tell me what your, the, your highlights were of the conference in April. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we have just finished our first edition of our PCR Tokyo Valve in March this year. And the highlight could be the uh, a kind of the really interactive uh, participant of three, more than 350 people. Yeah. And the learning session was really interactive and the learning the uh, really specific technique to the, uh, the Asian uh, anatomy, which is really specific, specific to our uh, patients. So particular challenges, Paul, there are, there are particular challenges of transcatheter valve therapy in the Asian population, aren't there? I mean, the, and, the, and I think the PCR Tokyo valves brought some of those issues out. What, what do you think they are? I think the challenges that we have uh, in the region is that first we, are, we have small patients. Yeah. Small patients in body size, in yeah. anatomy. And secondly, we have more calcification, much more heavier than our Western friends. Yeah. And thirdly is that we probably have more bicuspid yeah. valve than our Western counterpart. Maybe not true, but that's the challenges that we are having. So specific anatomical challenges yeah. for device and device therapy. Yeah. Do you have any other challenges in, in terms of expansion of the device therapy in general? Do, is, is regulation more of a challenge in some, some parts of Asia? You know, the Asian concept is that we don't want to be cut open. Yeah. So whenever there is an alternative treatment, less invasive, let's say transcatheter endovascular, then I think the patient will jump for it. So I think it's a huge opportunity for us, but then it's a huge challenge to all of us. KK, where does mitral valve intervention fit in? We talked about the annulus size and talked about TAVI. How about mitral valve intervention? Well, we have had uh, mitral clip therapies uh, for some time in Asia now, but uh, it hasn't really taken off as much as uh, TAVI has. Why do you think that is? I think it's a complicated problem with uh, both the presence of data or the, should I say, the absence of a data, especially yeah. for functional MR. Uh, cost regulation are also issues, mm. but I'm glad to hear that uh, you know in uh, Japan uh, they have started and uh, should complete their trial soon and perhaps with um, the introduction of the mitroclip therapy in uh, Japan, things may change. So I'm excited to, to, to see that uh, next year there will perhaps be a bit more uh, on the mitroclip and other mitro interventions yeah. at Tokyo Valves. I mean it sounds like a very exciting time in Asia for transcatheter valve therapy. It is. Kentaro, tell me where is PCR Tokyo Valves going to go next? What, what's, okay. uh, what's the future? Okay, thanks. Actually, the, uh, this year, most of the participants are Japanese people, and we would like to make the, uh, this course to be the uh, Asian meeting. Yeah. So uh, we're going to uh, expand the population, expand yeah. the population yeah. to yeah. the whole Asian people. Right. That is the first one. And we also would like to enrich the imaging part. Yeah. And we had the two days course this year, but for the second, uh, second edition, we're going to have the uh, additional half day uh, specific for the imaging uh, day. So, so uh, involve imaging colleagues as well as interventional cardiologists exactly. and surgeons and as well. Surgeons, so it should yeah. appeal to a broad range of, of cardiologists. Exactly. And the, what is the date of PCR Tokyo Valve in 2017? Okay, so we're going to have the course uh, from the 7th to 9th April 2017. It is also a really good season for the cherry blossom. Fantastic. So it's a really good reason so, to come over to Tokyo. So that is a big date for the diary. It sounds like a, a great time for transcatheter valve therapy. I think PCR Tokyo Valve mm -hmm. is going to be leading the way. So congratulations. I look forward to seeing it all develop. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.